The Anderson Family. Oliver, aren't you proud of Junior? Winning the essay on why I want a horse. I certainly am. Maybe I'll win a horse, Pop. Uh, if we don't have room for relatives, where are we going to put a horse? Oh, gee, Pop, I want a horse worse than anything I can think of. But we can't keep a horse in a garage, Junior. I don't see why not, Oliver. Now, don't you make it tougher for me, Mary. Uh-oh, here we go again, folks. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Anderson family. There's Papa Oliver Anderson, who doesn't believe in the adage, be sure you're right, then go ahead. He just goes ahead anyhow. Then Mary Anderson, his lovely wife, who thinks everything happens for the best. And she's the best. Then let's not forget Junior, 12 years old and the spark plug of the Andersons' daily life. They're a happy family, although Oliver is somewhat confused with life. He takes a beating from the boss all day, and then he comes home to his little family where he is king. Well, almost king. There's no place for morbidity in their life, and their happy outlook is a tonic for everyone. Now, this whole thing started when Junior Anderson won an essay on why I want a horse. The first thing Oliver knew about it was when his boss called him into his office today and told him the bad news. Uh, oh, yes, uh, Anderson, uh, come in, sit down. Um, I'll stand. I'm tired of sitting down. Uh, now, as you know, Anderson, <clears throat> I was on the judging committee on the juvenile essay contest, which was won by Junior Anderson. Uh, yes, I know. Junior's very happy about the whole thing. <clears throat> yes, as your employer, I'm going to do something which gives me great pleasure. Well, gee, I, I don't think I deserve it. You're absolutely right, except that you're wrong. Uh, I don't get it. I hate to spoil the whole affair by tipping you off, but... Uh, I'll tell you, it's it's something big. Oh, now, you didn't have to do that, Mr. Thompson. My car is good for another three weeks. Uh, it's not a car, and it's not for you. Hmm? It's just something to show my appreciation for Junior's efforts. Oh, oh, uh, that's different. Well, whatever it is, it's probably more than he'd ever get from me on my salary. <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Anderson. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh... I'm going home pretty soon. Shall I take it to him? Uh, no, it's being delivered already. Uh, right to your door. Uh, uh, or should I say to your garage? Wait a minute. You don't mean a horse. Tut, tut, tut. Not just a horse. My, my, no. This is a racehorse. Yeah, I know, but they eat too, don't they? <laughs> Would you deprive the little fellow of the pleasure of a horse? Well, no, but Would I... you allow his victory to be turned into defeat? Well, of course not, but... He see, expressly I'm... wished for a racehorse. I... How proud he'll be of Floridora the second. Yeah, but I don't have a race. Floridora's I... racing days are over. She's just a kindly old lady of the turf. Now run on, I'm busy. <laughs> Gee, Mom, a real racehorse. It really is. But I wonder if Papa will let me keep her. Why, of course he will. He's always glad to see you happy. But why can't I go in the garage and pet her, Mom? A horse isn't any good if you can't ride him. I think you'd better wait till your father gets home. He knows more about horses. Oh, gee, Mom, I have to get acquainted with Floridora sometime. I'm sure she likes me. Uh-oh. Uh, something. 
fell in the garage, Mom. Oh, that was the horse. Oh, me. If we don't do something with her, she'll kick our car to pieces. Oh, here you are. I thought you folks had left home. Oh, Oliver, I'm so glad you're home. Junior wants to bring the horse out of the garage. Well, then, why doesn't he bring her out? I was going to, but Mom said, wait for your father. Well, maybe your mother's right. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I don't think the horse likes to share her quarters with your car. Oh, my car? Well, let's do something. Well, don't look at me. I'm not a trainer. If you'd just bring her out, Pop, I'd lead her around. Well, now, this has to stop. I won't have my car kicked to pieces. I must... Wait a minute. I'm a stranger to this horse. Maybe I hadn't better go in there right now. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Hmm? I'll go get Homer Meister. He's an old horseman from Nebraska. And anyhow, if he's laid up, he won't lose any salary. Hi, Homer. You busy? Why, uh, uh tain't work, is it? No, nope, no work. Oh, well, then, come on in. <laughs> Martha's home. What do you want Homer for? <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> oh, uh, hello, Martha. Oh, I, I just wanted to see Homer about a horse. See him about a horse? That's a new one, ain't it? Uh, no, uh, well, I, I mean it. Uh, we have a horse. Oh, shush now, Martha. Let Oliver talk. I, I can hear you any time. <laughs> well, uh, I knew you liked horses, Homer, and I know you're familiar with them. Well, now, you're, you're right, Oliver. <clears throat> Why, I read bareback when I was 12 years old, hanging on by nothing but my teeth in his mane. <laughs> Then I had a little pinto once. Uh, yeah, 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 I know. Look, before we go into the pinto, I just want to explain that the horse is in the garage, and I don't think she likes me. Oh, shucks. You just don't know how to handle them, that's all. Keeping it in the garage? How about your car? I've been thinking about that, too. Well, now, shucks. Now, there ain't a horse living that don't make up to me. Wait till I get my head. Oh, 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 oh gee willikers, a horse. Mary? Can Junior walk? Why, yes, I guess so. Why? Well, then have him come in here. I'd like to speak to him a moment. Oh, we'll be right there, Oliver. <sighs> Had a horse four days. I haven't got a friend left in the neighborhood. A fine arrangement. Oliver, what did you want? Junior, why did you allow Florador to eat up all the Gunkel's imported tulip bulbs? Oh, gosh, I just let her nibble some grass in their yard. Before I knew it, she'd eaten a few of those green things. I see. Well, he's going to sue us. Oh, Oliver, he's always suing someone. Yeah, but this time he is going to, he said. Oh, gee, Pop, I've been pretty careful with her. Homer's been riding her more than I have. Boy, can he ride a horse. I bet he could win a race with her. Uh, uh you haven't said anything like that to Homer, have you? Why, Oliver, what if he did? Simply because if he did, Homer will try to talk me into letting him enter her in a race. Oh, but she's too old, Oliver. Old? Gee, Mom, if you'd see them fly down that alley. Well, maybe we should lock the horse up, Oliver, and then Homer wouldn't ride anymore. Well, uh, I don't think we could. Uh, you see, I made a kind of a deal with Homer. Oh. Deal? Why, uh, yeah, sort of a deal. Um, well, Homer's paying half her hay bill, and for that, he gets to ride her as much as he likes. Well, it seems to me you could have consulted Junior. It's really his horse, you know. Well, it doesn't hurt to humor Homer a bit. After all, he tamed her, didn't he, so we could pet her. Oh dear, I wonder who that is. Well, it's probably Gunkel wanting to check for those bulbs. Howdy, Oliver. Got a minute? Yeah, come on in, I guess. Well, Pagliacci. Who? Huh? What's the Turkish wardrobe for, Homer? Turkish? Why, well, they ain't Turkish. Just some old racing silks I wore back home. Yes, Why, sir? Homer, where did you ever buy silk? Ho, oh, oh, ho, had them for years, Mary. Old jockey silks. Gee, just like a regular jockey, Mr. Meister. You see, Mom? But they, uh, aren't they a little snug, Homer? Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, yeah. But uh, I'm eating nothing but celery and oranges and drinking grapefruit juice. <laughs> Keeping my weight down. Are you having some pictures taken or something, Mr. Meister? Pictures? Nope, nope. Just getting down to my best riding weight. Lost uh, nine pounds. Be down to 120 by Friday, by gum. <laughs> Friday? Uh, yep. Uh, uh, Oliver, uh, let me look at that uh, racing record book again. Uh, the page that shows uh, Floradora's racing record. Oh, sit still, Oliver. I'll get it. You've seen it 50 times, Homer. Psst. Did you tell her about our deal? Haven't you, uh, about you having the use of her? Well, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, what'd she say? What are you whispering about, Pop? Why, uh, uh, nothing. I'll tell you later, Junior. Oh, well, uh, here you are, Homer. It's on page 206, Mr. Meister. <laughs> he even knows the page, huh? <laughs> uh, wait, that's the page, Pop. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here it is, Homer. Florida, the second. Bay mare by mud hog out of Florida girl. Mm. Born 1930. Well, age don't make no difference with a horse, Oliver. Just like a woman. Give them a kind word and they'll knock themselves out trying to make you happy. <laughs> uh, let's see now. Third race at Pimlico, 1934. Oh, yes, here it is. Uh, this is what I wanted to see. Yeah, that's a racing record. Yep, yep. Mm, uh, third race, one mile, track muddy. Finished third, Oliver. And three horses in the race. Why, she couldn't have been worse. Well, give her a chance. Uh, she, she, she was out training, maybe. Yeah, I can just see her at the post, turning to the next horse and saying, Pardon me, I'm a stranger on this track. May I follow you around? Somehow that isn't funny, Oliver. Uh, nope, it ain't, Mary. A horse has got a heart and feelings. Well, just like anyone else. Yeah, and you yes. should see how Floradora obeys Homer when he says, get going. Well, of course, she won't have her full speed for a few days, you know. And with you looking over her shoulder, it probably keeps her from doing her best work. Now, I don't <laughs> see the necessity for this rigid training routine, Homer. Floradora's getting old and just a pet. Yeah, and the neighbors go across the street when I approach them. They kid me about Junior's racing stable. They're just jealous, Pop. Well, that may be true, but I'd like to have the whole thing die down. No, Oliver, no. I went to the trouble of sewing up the jockey suit, starving to get down to my best weight. It's too late to quit now, Oliver. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> it's going to rain Friday, and that's where I got him. <laughs> now, 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 look, Homer. Floridora's too old. Now, get a hold of yourself. Her racing days are over. But, Pop, it's going to rain Friday. What is this rain on Friday business, young man? Well... It's a secret, Mom. Mm, you mean it was a secret? Well, regardless, I got a deal with you, Oliver. And besides, Floradora's a mother. I don't care if she's a grandmother, Homer. I'll not let you go through with this and have people laughing at me. Uh, it's too late, Oliver. Too late? Yep, I entered Floradora already. In the third race at Marthorne, Friday. <laughs> Now back to the Andersons. Junior was rewarded with a real live racehorse for writing the best essay on why I want a horse. Homer Meister next door has been training the horse, Floridor the second, for two weeks. And now it's Thursday, the day before the big race. Oliver Anderson by this time has most of the neighbors avoiding him, and he wishes Homer would scratch the horse. Mary and Junior are waiting at the racetrack for Oliver, who has stopped to chat on a corner with his boss. Now, see here, Anderson. You have to do something about this hat rack Floridora running in that race. Uh, uh, I'm losing face all over town. People will think I'm the owner. Oh, now, wait, boss. It's just a phase in the life of Junior. He's thrilled to death. His horse in a real race. Uh, <laughs> so you're going through with it, huh? Why, sure. There's nothing wrong with it. And you did give him the horse. Okay. Oh, let me tell you this, Anderson. If that plug runs in that race, you and I'll have an important conference first thing Saturday morning. And you won't like what we talk about. You, uh, you mean I'm being fired? It could amount to that. Huh? Make your choice, Anderson. You can only push me so far. Now, Mom, you'd think he was the one who'd been standing in the rain to see his dejected appearance. Oh, here you are. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, stand back in here out of the rain, Pop. Oh, thanks. Uh, Junior, would you care very much if Floridora didn't run tomorrow? Floridora not run? Gee, Pop, you don't mean it, do you? Why, you've let Junior believe you thought it was all right. Uh, never mind, all right. She'll run then. I just thought I'd ask. And the horse barns are right down this way, Pop. What's wrong, Oliver? Oh, nothing. I just left Thompson, the boss. He's burned. Oh, he can't say anything to me. It's my horse. I wish I'd have thought of that. Oh, well, come, Oliver. Let him be angry. You've gone along with Homer this far. Now you'll go all the way. Gee, Pop, Mr. Meister went to a lot of trouble. 
He borrowed a bridle and saddle today. Well, let's not stand here. Come on, Pop. I'll show you which stall Floridora's in. Junior, don't step in the mud. I just don't know what to do, Mary. I do. Come on, and keep out of the mud. Go away. Get now. It's Mary, Homer. Mary? Well, well, wait a minute. Let me in out of this rain. Gee, you certainly are locked up tight, Mr. Meister. Yep, that I am, Junior. I heard about fellas doping horses before a big race. I'm a gardener with my life. But uh, couldn't someone come in the back way, Homer? Nope. No, sirree. I got Martha sleeping right up against the door on a cot. Martha? Uh, I didn't know she was here. Look, Pop. Floridora knows me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess she does. Uh, uh, Homer, won't Martha be angry staying here at night like this? Uh, yes. It's so wet and damp, Homer. Oh, shucks. She's a pioneer, she is, Mary. But you're soaking wet yourself. Oh. Uh, take that boy yours down the hall and you'll find a lounge room with a fire in it. And get dried off. Well, that sounds good to me, Homer. Come on, Junior. Okay, Mom. I guess I'm wetter than I thought I was. I'll be with you in a minute, Mary. Oh, don't upset Homer now, Oliver. I won't. Don't worry. What she mean, don't upset me? What's wrong, Oliver? Oh, nothing. My boss doesn't want the horse to run. Oh, fiddlesticks. My Floridora's raring to go. It's in the bag. I wish I could agree with you, Homer. Oh, gosh, Oliver, I'm set to ride the race of my life. I'm down to 120 pounds in my underwear. And Floridora minds everything I tell her. Yep. Then uh, you wouldn't want a scratcher, huh? Nope, I wouldn't, Oliver. Mm -hmm. I got publicity out and everything, and the paper's taking a picture of us, <laughs> if we win. I see. Hmm. Uh, this bridle and saddle hanging there, where'd you get it? <laughs> I borrowed it from another stable. Huh? Yeah, a little big for Florida, and then darn blinkers kept keep falling down over her eyes. Well, then how does she see? Oh, shucks. She she don't need to see. <laughs> that old girl knows her way around. Who's that you're talking to, Homer? Uh, it's Oliver, Martha. Oh, gee, I'm sorry I woke her up in more ways than one. Oh, shucks, she ain't mad at nobody. You ought to be keeping Homer up like this, Oliver. He needs his strength. Well, uh, I was worried. I, I thought he might want to scratch the horse. Now, don't go putting them notions in his head. Homer comes from good old Nebraska stock. But that track is a sea of mud, Martha. Mud ain't nothing new to a farmer. Why, the first thing Homer said to me after we was married was, here's mud in your eye. <laughs> but he might get hurt. And I didn't think you'd let him go out there like I was fooling around with a horse. I can see you don't know nothing about women, Oliver Anderson. A woman's place is alongside her husband. Eh, Martha's a good woman, Oliver. Shut up, Homer. Why, Homer don't know what quit means. Oliver, when they blow that bazooka for the third race, you'll find Floridor and Homer awaiting at the gate. <laughs> I saw Homer more serious than he is today, Oliver. Yeah, uh, let's stand under this lean-to, back a bit from the track. We can see the finish line from here. Okay. Homer has his race all planned, Pop. He knows how to raid a horse, and save him for the stretch. He told me about it. I'm sure he does, dear. This must be the third race coming up. I can't see 30 feet ahead of me in the rain Attention, here. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. All horses have been scratched in the third race except Blue Bonnet. Big Boy and Floridora the Second. This is a three-horse race. Just like her record at Pimlico. Third. Yeah, but she didn't have Homer up that time, Pop. Of course she didn't, Junior. Yeah. Homer said he'd wave to me when, we, when he went to the gate. He's lucky just to hang on in there this mud. At the gate. It's Blue Bonnet on the rail, one to four. Big Boy, second post position, one to seven. Floridora, 65 to 1. 65 to 1? Boy, look what we win. Oliver, you didn't bet. Uh, oh, what's $20? Well, if Homer can keep a saddle on her, he might even win. He can swim her home. There they go. Floridora! Come on, Mr. Meister! Junior, quiet! We heard two horses, Oliver. 
I hope Homer didn't get that bridle caught on the starting gate. There's Floridora now. It's in the bag, Oliver. They went on ahead, Mr. Meister. Hurry up. Rounding the first turn, blue bonnet by two lengths and a big boy by 15 lengths. Oh, Homer. Homer will never catch them now. 15 lengths. Come on, Floridora. Hurry up. Junior, people are looking at Going you. Going into the back stretch. Blue Bonnet by six lengths and a big boy by nine lengths. He's gaining. Come on, Homer, ride it! Oliver, people are looking at well, you. Well, let them look. They have nothing to lose. Rounding the far turn. Blue Bonnet by six lengths. Big boy by... Big boy by 23 lengths. Oh, Oliver, he's dropping back. Yeah. Uh, he's saving her for the stretch, Pop. Mr. Meister, explain how you do it. Into the stretch. Oh, it's close. Oh, I hate lightning. Let me under the roof, Pop. Into the stretch, blue bonnet by two lengths. Big boy by 35 lengths. Floridora's trailing. <laughs> That lightning hit something. Just a minute, folks. Something has happened. Blue Bonnet threw her jockey and Big Boy is down. Oh, no, Oliver. What about Homer? He didn't say. I wonder if he and Floridora are still together. Will they let us go find Floridora, Pop? Oh, I don't know, Junior. This is all my fault. I could have stopped all this, but I'm too soft. I... Oliver, listen... It is a horse. It's flying off, huh? Homer! Can you hear me? It's in the bag now. Well, Homer, here we are home and everyone's happy. Here's a little toast to Homer. With coffee. Hmm. And don't say here's mud in your eye, Homer. Nope, nope, I won't. Uh, it was a good race, and I'm glad I won. Mm, and so is Oliver. Uh, uh, <clears throat> did you place that little, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know what, Oliver? Yeah, I sure did, Homer. All ten of yours and ten of mine, right on the nose. <laughs> you mean you took my money out of that trunk and bet it on an old horse race? Why, Homer Meister, I... Oh, oh. come now, Martha. We're, we're visiting now, you know. Mm, and you're so proud of him, Martha. Well... Mm, guess I am. And I'm proud of that horse, too, and Mary. <laughs> uh, gosh, I guess every kid in the neighborhood's out in the garage looking at her with Junior. <laughs> well, now that you're warm and comfortable, Homer, uh, tell us what happened. Well, uh, <clears throat> Mary, uh, I planned my race beforehand, and I, and I followed my plan. You followed the other horses, too, Homer. <laughs> I didn't do no such thing. I, I just went out in front, right off the bat, and... They never did catch me. Oh, now, wait a minute. The announcer said you were trailing. Maybe you was, Homer, but you didn't know it. Uh, maybe I was, but I swear I, I didn't hear nobody go by me. Well, uh, so I eased her up a bit on the first turn and, you know, saving her for the stretch. I think you did a wonderful job, Homer. I do too, Mary. First thing he's done right for years. Oh, let me be. Who's telling this? Uh, I'd have made better time, too, but that there saddle kept sliding over on the G-side. Yeah, I noticed that saddle. Harsh your mouth now. Well, sir, I, I got off on the back stretch and pulled up some slack on the cinch, and <laughs> that darn saddle was just too big for old Floridora. But what I don't understand, Homer, the lightning scared the other two horses, but Floridora didn't seem to mind it. Well, now, I'll tell you. You see, it was them borrowed blinders, the darn things that kept falling down over her eyes and... <laughs> I guess you didn't see the flash. Now, about this uh, small wager, Oliver. Oh, yes. It was $20 and paid off at 65 to 1. That's uh, $1,300 and most of it's homers. Now, wait a minute, Mary. I'm out of work, you know, starting tomorrow, and 10 of that was my money. Now, just a minute, Oliver. You didn't ride Florida. Neither did you. Oliver, stop it. Be quiet. I'll get it, Mary. Hello? Well, well, congratulations, Oliver. <clears throat> May I be the first to shake your hand? Now, now, wait a minute, boss. I don't have to talk to you until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> now, Anderson, I greet you as a friend and admirer. Oh, you knew that race was in the back, you scoundrel. <laughs> you made me believe you didn't know horse flesh. Now, you just uh, forget our little misunderstanding. and You and I'll go on a short fishing trip. Uh, uh, <clears throat> at my expense, of course, uh, and you can give 
give me some pointers. Uh, I may want to start a stable of my own. Okay, I'm glad I made you happy. Uh, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Oliver. Uh, good evening. Yeah, mm -hmm. good evening. Oh, oh, boy, the boss has changed his tune. He's proud of Floridora. Well, who ain't? Yep. You know, I can see her big brown eyes looking up at me at the starting gate. Probably was hungry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. A uh, horse is a true friend. And Junior takes such an interest in her. Yeah. I guess I was wrong about our having a horse. Oh, my goodness, what's that? Sounds like the garage. Oliver, where are you going? I'm going to stop Floridor from kicking my car to pieces. And Mary, hold up Homer's winnings until I check the damage out here. The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, Herbert Rollinson as Homer, and Jackie DeWitt as Martha. Others in the cast were Paul Theater and George Peroni. Sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood Broadcasters production, transcribed in Hollywood.